Now, you've said you don't even think that's who you're going to face off in November. I don't is he going to be so. the nominee? Uh, personally, I don't think so. With all who that I'm it? saying, I don't Democrats think. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. Well, I, Gavin I watch, is right out of central casting. How, about Gavin? Is, How are you going to do up against Gavin I, I'll tell you what. Uh, because he's, he's so much. He wants to say how wonderful it, it's doing horribly. His state California. is doing horribly. You look at the homeless problem. You look at the people that are leaving. You have companies that are leaving. They're all leaving for other locations. I think Gavin's easy because California is a disaster. He has been a horrible governor. Donald Trump utilizes a direct and unfiltered communication style to criticize Gavin Newsom in California. He highlights Newsom's governance failures, including issues such as homelessness, population displacement, and business relocation. Trump's critiques prioritize policy outcomes over personal attacks, focusing on tangible problems affecting California. He expresses uncertainty about Newsom's Democratic nominee status, reflecting a cautious approach aligned with conservative values. Trump's portrayal of Newsom as a typical political figure resonates with the conservative base who values authenticity and perceives Newsom as part of the established political elite.